Review time. It's review time. It's review time. It's review time. Hi, it's me, Leo from Inside Leo's Mind. I'm back again. Sorry for taking so long, so I so I finally get a chance to make some reviews. So this time, I decided to do a review on the Playmates 2004 Godzilla, which you commonly see at Target nowadays. So I give you 2004 Godzilla from, from Playmates, not Bandai. That's what you might think, Bandai, but you're wrong. It's not Bandai. So let's get on with the figure, shall we? Okay. Okay, the detail on this guy, on this, on this, on this figure is just, on this Godzilla figure is just great. Just really great. The scales, they put this, I like the scales on, on, they put them out of detail on the scale. I know it's not as, I know it's not 100%, but they, they, but they try their best. But they must have tried their best, um, trying to put amount of detail and hard work on this figure. Well, some people may disagree with me, but I do love the eye. The detail on the plates look pretty cool. It looks very accurate, which I will do some comparisons later on. The plates, well, for me, the plates, they did pretty well. I can see some detail on the big, on this middle one here. So you can tell this is Final Wars Godzilla because the Final Wars Godzilla has smaller plates and one bigger one in the center right here. Although there's a few plates missing here, but right here. What I noticed that there's a few plates are missing right here on the back of his shoulder, but nah, I don't, I can forgive that. There's nothing to compl for me to complain about this figure. It looks absolutely great. The paint job looks, looks, looks really great. It looks good too. If you ask me, it's not, not, not bad for a Playmates toy. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. It's all, it's all, it's, you can see it's made out of hard plastic, not vinyl like your, like your typical Bandai figures. For articul, as for articulation, far it goes, as it goes, the head can rotate, let me show you, hold on. You can rotate his head, surprisingly, 360 degrees. And it really works. The the arms could move in and out like this. And so does this arm. The feet, the legs can move. Yes, they can. Here and here. The feet can rotate. Feet here. Feet there. This is something surprising about a about a about a Godzilla figure that I never know I never knew about. And here's here's his tail. Here one and two. So that's articulation. Detail looks great. The paint job looks well looks well done. The mouth is nicely done. I love the face because it looks very accurate to the gods to the final Goji suits that we've seen in Godzilla Final Wars. This is very very on spot on screen accurate. For a twenty dollar figure that you find at Target nowadays is is well deserved. So let's do let's go on. To, now I'm going to talk about comparison with other figures. Okay, okay. This is Playmates on the on the right corner. This is the this is the Bandai Creation one. Here's my opinion of the Bandai Creation figure. the The wrist the wrist on on the left arm was way too skinny. Was way too skinny. Um, the plates look pretty. They look even more accurate than the. They look somewhat more accurate than the Playmates one. Um. The the okay one thing with Bandai with Bandai Creation messed up is the tail, they bent it up and because the reason why they it's all bent up is because they're trying to make it fit in the box. As for as for Playmates Final Wars Godzilla, it's all straight. It was all straight, nice and straight like this because when you when you when you first get this in the when you first get this when you first buy this, the tail is a separate piece. 
All you have to do is just unbox the box and just put the t pop the tail in like so. And this 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 is something what Bandai Creation should not do it. They should make they sh so this is the figure that that Bandai Creation should have done in the first place. This they kind of ruined. They kind of messed up on the tail. The as for the feet, well, a little bit. That's way too flat. Although Godzilla's no duck. <sighs> the head. Okay, let me talk about the head. The head doesn't look any. It doesn't look anything like the Final Wars Godzilla as seen in Godzilla Final Wars. It looks more like the Kiru Goji from Tokyo SOS and from Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla. Although the head is the head's the wrong shape. Yes, the head's the wrong shape. Now, so I'm gonna say that the Playmate figure is a lot more taller than this guy. As for detail on Bandai Creations figure, it's all it's all super detailed because the everything on the everything on the everything on the body is screen accurate except for the head, which except for the head, arms and and feet, which they've pretty much messed up on. I think if I were to well, Bandai Creations should have done a little bit better. If they should have done a little bit better if they were if you were to fix it if you if they were to fix it. So I'm gonna say that Bandai, so Playmate figure, in my opinion, is very much this is this is more like this is the Final Wars Godzilla from Godzilla Final Wars. This is more like a hybrid suit design, a combination of Final Wars and Kiru Goji from Tokyo SOS. So if the 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 chest on this guy looks pretty good. This one's this one's even better. So so I'm gonna say that. This is more like the color. This is more like the twenty dollar budget figure. And this guy, you can I don't know, well twenty budgets less or more. Does it depends where you where do you get it. So if I were to pick, if I were to pick um the fig, if I were to pick a figure from this from out of these two, which one do I prefer more? I prefer the Final Wars this guy better because this one's more movie accurate. This is more like the hybrid suit, um Final Wars Goji. Overall, this this figure is just excellent, beautiful, and great. Any improvements? Any any other thoughts about it? Well, no. No, I just love it the way it is. I have nothing to complain. Complain. So I I give this figure a perfect five out of five for being great improvement over Bandai Creations, like how it should have how it should have been. So. Okay, if you're gonna if you're gonna get these figures, so take take good care of them. So please do not play roughly, and please do not drop it on accident, or else it's gonna break. So I I would suggest you should put this on your shelf or your bookcase to keep it safe, or you can just put it keep it safely in the box. So enough said. So I want to say this is Leo Man. This is Leo from Inside Leo's Mind signing out. So see you on the flip side. Ah! <sighs>